Hello guys, today's topic will cover sizes for virtual machines in Azure. Somehow this uh, is a well known information, but because it is presented in skill measured, I would like to offer some utils, tips and tricks. Like other cloud vendors, uh, Microsoft Azure provides uh, different types of VM. Uh, the first one is general purpose. This type is ideal for testing and developing for small to medium databases and low to medium traffic uh, website servers. Compute optimized. Uh, this type is good for medium traffic web servers, network appliance, batch processes and application services. Uh, the third Memory optimized is great for relational database servers, medium to large caches and the memory analytics. Storage optimized it's, it's good for big data, SQL and NoSQL databases, data warehouse and large transitional databases. Uh, GPU optimized used for heavy graphic rendering and video editing as well as model training and inferencing with deep learning. High performance compute, the last one, uh, is the most powerful CPU virtual machines and uh, I used for high performance computing and high performance data analytics. So now let's uh, navigate to the Azure portal to have a look at the sizes when you create a new virtual machine and yes every time you will create a new when you will create a new VM you will have to choose the correct size for your VM first because of cost and second the performance and here you have the list with all VMs that you can deploy on your subscription as well from here you can apply the filters uh, to identify the appropriate VM size this uh, list can be checked also from uh, Cloud Shell using get AG VM size. Don't forget to add the location parameter where your VM will be deployed. As you can see, uh, we have the same list of VMs that were represented in the Azure portal. But I have to mention here a very important aspect uh, that cannot be check it in, uh, in PowerShell. By default each subscription has a quota limit and if you remove all filters from um, the list from the list uh, let's go back to, to the portal you will see that some VMs size are not available for deployment and this is because of insufficient quota. To change this uh, <coughs> So to change this, go to your subscription, select uh, new support request and from here select service and subscription limit quotas. In quota type you will need to, to choose compute VMs, go next and uh, Go next in detail tab and here you need to provide detail about uh, your limits. Select first the, the location and in standard you choose the right uh, VM size and uh, here you can see the current limit and here you will need to add the new vCPU limit for example 40, click save and continue. As well below you have some uh, fields that need to be completed before review and uh, create uh, a new support request and uh, you will be contacted by preferred method uh, which was uh, chosen by uh, you as well with severity and that's it okay if you have a question don't hesitate to ask me via comments I will help you with pleasure if you find the uh, information for today useful please subscribe to upcoming videos and uh, see you next time thank you